Hello beautiful Leos. Welcome to the channel. We're doing a you versus them reading for you today. Let's see what the overall energy is. Regeneration. Okay, so something looks like it's burned up with passion. We see fiery energy here, Leo. That is your energy. Message in a bottle. So Spirit is going to bring you a message in this reading today. And let's see what else we have. We have milk and honey. Oh, Leo. Whatever's happening, it looks like Spirit is recommending that you do something about this relationship or that you'll receive messages that will be heartfelt and helpful. So I've pre-shuffled, so that's you. I'm going to cut the deck here a couple of times. There we go. I'm going to put these up here. Okay, so that's going to be you. This is going to be your person. Okay, and here's your clarifiers. At the end, we'll get some advice from Spirit for both of you. The energies, okay, so here we go. All right, so your energy in the recent past, Leo, is you're of two minds. You've been juggling the idea of two different opportunities in love, a decision you haven't made yet. Your person is feeling as though you're not really being very honest here. Your person feels as though you, they've been treated badly. Okay, let's see your current energy. Six of Swords, you want to move away from trouble. Your person feels very disappointed. They feel as though you're not interested in them. They feel as though the relationship is over. You may have stopped talking to them. How you view the relationship going forward, well, you still see yourself invested. Your person feels as though, you know, Leo, you're causing trouble. It looks like your person feels as though you're putting them into competition with other people. They're not happy about it. The Two of Coins would actually say that that's probably true. You might be juggling two loves. That's typically the meaning of that, juggling people. Uh, your person knows that you're juggling people. You know, you don't want any conflicts, so you'd be willing to walk away from your person. And they know that, and but you're still invested. So I would say this is a very, very difficult top row. Let's see how you feel about them in your heart space. Is a three of swords. You feel very heartbroken about something they did or said. How do they feel about you? They feel as though a little bit like you're playing games. When we get the Aries energy of the Emperor, they feel as though it's sort of your way or the highway, Leo. Your person doesn't feel like they have much to say here. They don't feel like they have any power in the relationship. How do you view them? You view them as someone who has been left in the cold who's very sort of feeling down and out. You feel a little bit like they have a bad attitude because at the end of the day, there's a key. They're not really locked out, but you you feel, Leo, as though they're behaving as though they were locked out. But the key is right there. The door is here. You feel as though your person just needs to have a better attitude to look up and see that nothing really has happened. Okay. How do they feel? They feel as though they have to release you. They feel as though they've been called upon by spirit in their heart space to just relieve their, release their emotions for you. But they view you as having released them, so they have no choice. They have to release you. And you view them as a person who has a very negative attitude. Wow. <laughs> this is challenging, Leo. Very challenging. Okay, so let's see how you view the situation moving forward. Oh, Leo, the Ace of Cups. You're making a decision here that you love this person. You're really getting in touch with your emotions. Okay, your person feels as though you are their happily ever after. Wow. That's a big transition. All right. What's hidden between you and your person from your standpoint? You both feel like self-protective. You both feel as though there's been sort of a bit of a, a, a need to protect yourself. How does your person feel? 
they feel as though there's a need for equal give and take. What is spirit advising you? Ah, get out of your head, Leo. Spirit is advising you to get out of your head. That whatever heartbreak you're feeling, um, it's just, it's needless worry. There's a lot of miscommunication here. This is just filled with miscommunication. Spirit is advising your person that if you don't step forward, that they should just let you go. Libra energy. A lot of swords here, a lot of air and fire, but there's a lot of emotion here too. You really love each other. Your person probably loves you more than you love them. They're more developed in their sense that the two of you could live happily ever after. You're just now really sort of admitting it to yourself. I don't think you admitted this to yourself before. Okay, and what is the outcome for you this week? Four of Swords. I do weekly readings, but they're timeless. If you find this reading, it's yours, it's yours. Look at this. Your person is feeling Four of Cups. There's stability, but there's a need for healing. Let's look and see what the clarifiers are for you. So let's see. Why, why do we have the Two of Coins juggling and sneaking around? Your person, the energy is, is that, Leo, you need to make a choice. That's your clarifier. The sneaking around part is your person suspects that you're still married or connected to somebody in a very significant way. What's the clarifier for your desire to move away? Ah. For some of you, this won't be all of you. For some of you, your person feels as though you were married or are married or how do I say this? Your advice is to work on love. Their advice is to work on getting to know you better, working on just staying focused on daily life. But you need to make a decision. That is what Spirit is clarifying, is that you need to make a decision. You need to leave something behind here. So, because the Seven of Swords means that right now, your person feels as though that you're taking advantage of them and that they are probably in a third party situation, but you're not talking about it. Spirit is advising you to move away from this relationship and return to possibly a marriage. And I feel like that's maybe what has happened here, is that you started this relationship and now there's all of this energy of the two of you being in love and yet there's a marriage lingering. So your person is just focusing on work. The Seven of Coins says that you're invested but you can't invest right now. You pulled your investment out of the relationship. That is how you know you are viewed. That's how you view yourself that you know you couldn't invest in this relationship and so that you don't necessarily see a path forward. Your person feels very conflicted. They feel very passionate. They want to move forward, but they can't do it. You know, the Eight of Wands is reversed. You're not talking to them, basically. It looks as though, for the most part, Leo, you've pulled your energy out of this relationship with another person. The Three of Swords, though, energetically says that you're heartbroken about leaving this person behind. You want to walk towards them. You want to do something. You want to reach out to them. Your person's clarifier is that they have to follow their intuition. This person is waiting for you to make a move, but the move that they're making is pulling back, healing, you know, mending their own heart, uh, finding their inner voice, looking inside for their intuition. The energy around, you know, how you feel in your heart space is this five of coins you feel about them or you view them as a person who's too pessimistic or somebody who's been left out in the cold but you also know that you didn't offer them anything of substance so while they were expecting you know at least for you to be there during this process it looks as though spirit is clarifying this with you know your offer really wasn't very big you just offered like a day at a time and 
So how they view you is somebody they have to release and they have to move forward with their life. They feel as though Cancerian energy, if they want to take care of their inner, their heart, if they want to be happy, if they want to find love, that they're, they're going to have to move forward without you. How you feel in your heart space and see this going forward is, is something that can develop into a beautiful, stable relationship that's very nurturing. How they view the future is when, if there's equal give and take, the two of you will be able to fall in love and you'll be able to have this sort of milk and honey. Um, that spirit, the downloads from spirit are giving you a lot of information to make your relationship right. The Seven of Wands is your energy feeling very defensive. You really love this person, Leo. You do love this person. You haven't told them. You love them a lot more deeply than they even know. They want equal give and take. They want to have a life with you. They want to make plans with you. They want to travel with you. Spirit is saying get out of your head. Stop worrying. Take action. And it's clarified by the Nine of Cups. Stop living in your head. Go out there. Live vibrantly, Leo. Live vibrantly. Share your emotions. Enjoy your life. Don't get caught up in a lot of uh, negative thinking. Because just as you think that your partner is negative in their thought process, it's realistic for them to feel that if you've gone back to a partner and you've pulled your investment in them, it's realistic for them to release you and let you go and to think these things. However, you actually think that they're being very sort of Debbie Downer, Donnie Downer. You, you're sort of judging them in a way that is probably not very fair. It does show, though, that Spirit is saying that you have remorse and regret. You never wanted to hurt this person. You wanted this to be a lot of fun. You wanted it to be romantic. You wanted it to be, you know, a very emotionally connective experience. Why is the Queen of Swords here? What clarifies that? Your partner wants a victory. You're the person that loves you, that you've come to the reading to ask about, really wants a victory. If they can have a victory with you, they will move away from you. They will cut you out. They will release you. That is the Libra Queen. And you know that. You know, your intellect is telling you. Your Gemini spidey senses are telling you that they will leave you behind and that you will have remorse and regret if you lose the happiness that you feel with this person. The outcome card for you is clarified. You're healing and it's clarified by the fact that you still have fire in your belly for this relationship. You're feeling very wounded also. Your person is feeling very bored. They're looking over at you saying, well, you know, I'm sitting here. I'm waiting for you. I can't do anything. This is really up to you, Leo. I'm still here waiting, but at the end of the day, I've released most of my hopes, most of my wishes, but I'm waiting for you to show up. The Three of Swords, though, says that by the end of this week, you probably won't show up. That at the end of the day, they feel as though they've lost this battle. They feel heartbroken. You know, this is Libra energy. What else do we need to know? Two of coins. There we go again. Two of coins. They were juggled. You put them in a third party situation. They feel like it's hopeless. What else? Yep, now they're moving away. So we have two people who are separating, who uh, adore each other, who came together for a short period of time. Let's see what Spirit has to say about regenerating this relationship. Should it be done? Spirit, tell us. Give us the advice about this for our Leo friends. The Nine of Coins says that you're not really single and ready to mingle. It says that you have to be single and ready to mingle to regenerate the relationship. The Ace of Cups is, you know, if you... If you love this person, you should at least, even if you can't be with them, even if you have to, you feel like you have to leave this person behind, the Spirit is telling you, you need to tell them that you love them. You need to tell them that you're sorry that you put them into this situation uh, in which they felt so much harm. You know, look at this. You know, you need to actually tell them that they were very special to you, that you really experienced new things with them, 
that is the advice. I mean, Spirit is saying, don't make this person just feel as though you use them. Because right now, Leo, your person feels as though you did. Now the energies can be vice versa. You know, you could feel as though you received this. Cross watchers may feel that Leo did this to them. But, you know, Spirit is saying that you love each other and that this relationship has a lot of power to move forward. But you're going to have to take action. You're going to have to tell your person that you love them. So let's see what the advice for your person is. We can see what Spirit is giving you in terms of a message. So what is the overall advice in this relationship for you and your partner? You and your love interest, the person you came to ask about. Okay. Power. Take back your personal power. You know, own whatever you did. You know, that's what empowers you to create this abundance. This relationship has the potential to go the distance. But you have to love yourself enough to show your love to others. Let's see what the information or the advice is for your partner here. Gratitude. They need to have a better attitude. They need an attitude of gratitude and that they need to use their willpower not to be so pessimistic, not to be so, you know, hurt. I do think that you disclose to your person, Leo, that you are in a relationship, that you are in a pickle, so to speak, and that you did it, you did tell them basically, and so you feel as though this is their path, they made decisions, and it is so. Your person did make a decision, they wanted to be with you, you know, they had a choice, you did inform them. So, that's your message for this week, Leo. Take care, sending you love from Chicago. Thanks for stopping by.